Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to your introduction to object-oriented programming in C Sharp. So this is the start. We're not gonna get into a ton in this video. This is primarily just to talk about sort of the table of contents for the next section of videos. But it's a pretty big deal if you made it this far from the beginning, so I congratulate you. And if you're just jumping in, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe because we got lots of great content coming up. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So my goal here for like the next five or six videos is to basically crash course you guys on all of the concepts around object-oriented programming. Once we got those concepts down, we're gonna go hands-on programming this stuff on the computer. But my thought is if I help you guys understand the basics, once we start typing it out, you're not just gonna be confused, you'll have a pretty good understanding of what you're trying to accomplish. So get that understanding and then learning the code is a lot easier. If you're more of a hands-on learner, go ahead, check out those coding videos and see if they help you out but I highly recommend you give these ones a try as well. And something just fell over. All right, so what are we gonna be talking about? Well, the primary thing you need to understand is that in order to build scalable applications, we need some paradigm of how to structure so much code and information and all of that. Well, one of these paradigms is object-oriented programming. There's other ones, so for example, there's functional programming, which organizes things into functions. In object-oriented programming, things are organized into classes and objects. And those are two key words we're gonna talk about in the next video to talk about what they are and their differences. But essentially, we can design a structure and make a bunch of copies of that structure, making it very easy for us to make large applications. So for example, if we wanted to create an application that's going to have hundreds of different things, then we're going to need to use object-oriented programming. So in the next videos, we're gonna go through the example of a person, or you could think of it as a user if you're building some application, and how we could create numerous users very easily. We don't wanna to have to go and write the code for each one over and over and over again. That would be a lot of work for us. Instead, we just want to make one master copy and kind of just create instances of that master copy. And that's the perfect transition into the next video because that master copy is known as a class and each of those instances is known as an object. Pretty much everything in C-sharp is based around object-oriented programming. Even when you start an application, it's gonna say, class program, static void main. That's a method which is part of classes and so forth. Even when we do things like console.writeline, console is a class, writeline is a method. Everything is structured this way. So you need to understand the concepts and it'll make your coding life a lot easier. So let's get started with that next video. Check it out, yo. And don't forget to subscribe.